Christine, tell us, why do you support SB 50? I think SB 50 is a really important public safety measure we can take here in California. There have been recent studies that have shown us that because policing agencies spend a vast majority of their time on traffic enforcement, they're therefore unavailable to help us in the community with more serious crimes, crimes of violence, crimes where we need police and not many other interveners can really handle those situations. So our primary reason for supporting this is to advance public safety, to make sure that the limited public safety resources we have, police, prosecutors, courts, are focused on the most serious crimes first. The second reason we support this is because we have seen from collecting data over the years in California and around the country that unfortunately this becomes a tool of racial profiling. We see that African-American and Latino drivers, pedestrians and bicyclists are pulled off over more often and less contraband is recovered from them. So what we're doing is frustrating our own public safety goals by alienating law-abiding citizens through unnecessary stops, searches, and seizures. That's not good for public safety. Finally, we know that these incidents can result in extreme cases of violence. 75% of the cases of violence, um, excessive force by law enforcement, originate from either a vehicle stop, a pedestrian stop, or a bicycle stop. So these encounters can turn very deadly and violent, and we'd like to eliminate that possibility and risk to the community as well. Are you surprised that police are against this bill? And what do you say to, for example, the police chief in Palm Springs, who says that this is actually a bad bill and limits police from being able to protect the public? Well, I hope that police would look at the data because we have been analyzing this for decades. Uh, it has been passed in states and cities in other parts of the country successfully. Uh, Minneapolis passed an end to pretextual stops and have not seen any increases in crime. The state of Virginia has eliminated pretextual stops, has not seen an increase in crime. And the data tells us that what this does is actually pulls policing resources away from the things the community cares most about. The things the average citizen is most worried about is violence, particularly random violence, not traffic enforcement. Where does this bill stand now? I know it was passed by the Senate in May. It's passed through the Senate. It is headed to the, it's in the assembly. Um, it is passed through the, Sen the assembly public safety committee and hopefully will make its way to the floor for a vote there soon. Okay, anything else, Christine, you would like to say before we let you go? No, just encourage law enforcement and community to join us in this smart effort to try and use our limited resources for the problems we care most about, and at the same time, be able to eliminate one of the racial disparities that we see. It's a win-win. All right, Christine, we appreciate your time. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you.